Hello everybody, welcome to Whack Comics. Today we're going to go for a bit of a ride. We're going to check out some, some local comic book stores around my area. It's a, sort of like a vlog type uh, comic book store tour we're going to take you on. But first up is Fats, Fats Comics here. It's a pretty cool store, I really like this store. It speaks for itself pretty much, it's really clean and tidy. It's got everything you need, a bunch of back issues, uh, $2 bins, everything's organised where you need it to be, really friendly stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about Fats apart from how much I want to go there again and, sp and spend a bunch more money. I've got a nice little haul from them that I'm going to show at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But let's just, let's just sit back and relax and check out this awesome little store here in the heart of Annerley in Queensland, Australia. They have a bunch of CGC slabs and Halo slabs. I was talking to the, the person working there today and they convinced me on Halo slabs. They did a good job. I think next time I go back, I might have to pick up one. There was a Jeff Lemire uh, Hawkeye variant that was slabbed, and anyone that has, has been watching the channel and watching the live streams uh, knows how much I love Jeff Lemire. So it's a, it's uh, greater than a 9.9 .9 as well, which is which is pretty good. I don't know. Halo Halo is if if pe for people that know Halo is a grading company here in Australia. But they also have a nice little collection of um, statues and action figures. Really organized. Alphabetically, you can go through it and find what you need if they have it. And if they don't, you'll find something else that you want, like I did today. They have a heap of um, Australian comic books too, which is nice to see. Definitely check out these these titles, Australian titles here. Killaroo, Killaroo is a must. Nice drawers here filled with comics. Looks great. All the way down. Myself, apparently. Here's some cool, some more cool slabs. Pretty reasonably priced as well. Some, some cool Ghost Rider statue going on. Love some Ghost Rider. Storm. Love Storm. Some cat. Captain America. Zantana. I love Zantana. This is... I, I fell in love with this Wonder Woman statue. It is so cool. If I had space for it in my house and also the money You can dream, bro. Right? Cool little bombshell Harley Quinn. This is awesome. 
they had this made that uh we got some turtles covers they had that turtle cover made for the store a bunch of sketches as well on the back it's a, a blank cover so you can get sketches john Rita jr original hit girl oh my gosh i fell in love with that that was like so cool uh let's stare at that all day all right next up is ace ace comics and games this store is very different to Fats, but this store feels more, more like at my speed, you know, like I walk into this store and I feel like more at home, I don't feel like um, I have to knock, I'm like worried about knocking shit over, there's heaps of space, not like, the, don't get me wrong, Fats had lots of space as well, but they had a lot more high ticket items that you're worried about, um, you know. But this store, the store is beautiful. It's got that, you know, the the tables at the back, so you can game. It's got a whole another side that you can game at that I'll show you in a minute. But it's got a nice, huge selection of uh, trade paperbacks and hardcovers. They get um, weekly comics in. That's the weekly comic shelf there. They also have uh, a lot of stuff for your, your minifigures. I know a lot of people love to collect and paint the minifigures for those tabletop games. And sit down and play them even. It's good times. Good times at Ace Comics and Games. The owner of the store is really nice as well. I had a, had a really nice chat with him. I got some awesome statuary. Let's check out these statues. I love that super girl. They got heaps of um, books for Dungeons and Dragons and uh, other tabletop games like that. Heap of, heap of, heap of, heap and heap of trade paper bags. It's a nice little store. I also got a little haul from um, Ace Comics and Games that I'll show you at the end here as well. So make sure you, you stay tuned to the end. Got a huge selection of um, Magna and stuff. They got a nice little uh, $10 discount trade paperbacks. Some, some dollar books there. Heaps of cards for Magic the Gathering. For people that love their stuff, there's a big audience for it. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some saws here in Annerley, Queensland, Australia. They're both in Annerley, they're, they're not too far apart from each other. They're both really cool stores as well. 
I like them. You gotta check them out if you're in the area. Go, go people. Really nice, really nice people. You can have a have a good chat with them too. That's some really cool artwork on the outside too, check this out. And here is next door, where they have heaps more tables for card games, more tabletop games, you, you name it, they're doing it there, it's good times. Check it out. Even another little shop there, at the back for more tabletop stuff. Alright, so here's my haul from the end of the day. This stack is from Fats Comics, such a great place. Uh, these were all like basically $2 each, apart from the Animal Man run. We got four issues of Grant Morrison's Animal Man run, which is pretty cool. I think they cost me $12. I've got these, these two here for free, just little, little giveaways that they had, which is pretty cool. And I got uh, all these ones, so this is what we start at two dollars. So I got, I've got more of this run. This is uh, Frankenstein and Agents of Shade. I really enjoyed this Jeff Lemire run. I'll put that one over there because I know I got more of it. We got Grass Kings, some Gideon Falls, some more Gideon Falls, some Cosmic Ghost Rider, more Grass Kings, more Grass Kings, more Grass Kings, more Gideon Falls. This looks really cool. Really weird. I don't, I don't know, I just grabbed it because it was cool and weird. Um, tales, too, tales Too Stupid to Tell. Tasty Tales of Wildlife Consuming Kids. Yeah. Barbecue Riders. It seems pretty cool. We've got Curse Words. It's another one of my favourites. I've got some Issues of Bone. It's an image one here. We've got some Black Panther. It's a pretty cool, I really like that variant cover there. We've got some more bone. More bone. Some more Frankenstein. Here we go, this is where our Frankenstein pile starts. So you put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and nine and ten, and that is the Jeff Lemire's Frankenstein run right there. It's pretty cool. Got another one of those. <laughs> Got another one. And here we go. This one is cool here. This is my favorite issue that I've read of Ice Cream Man so far, and um, yeah, it's like one of my favorite variants as well, which is pretty cool. So that's yeah, the nice, nice big stack I got from Fats. And from uh, Ace, I just picked up a couple of trade paperbacks. Okay, I'm trying to move these ones out of the road. And yeah, we just got a couple of trade paperbacks from from Ace. We got Ice Cream Man Volume One, which was really cool because I couldn't find it anywhere. Been looking everywhere. Got Ice Cream Man Volume One. Got Synergy, which is, I remember reading this mini series a couple of years ago and enjoyed it. So I thought I'd grab the trade. And these last two were two that. Tyler from Shadow Glass Comic Reviews has been talking out to me big time and I can't wait to knock these two out and um, talk about them on, a, on an upcoming live stream so make sure you hit that notification bell do the thing so you can know when we're going live and you can jump in with us but yeah we've got Something is Killing the Children Volume 1 and Once in the Future Volume 1 I don't know why they put their, their trades in in bags but it's cool I like it it's something different you know but yeah, that's, a, that's the thing for today. Bonus round, Antique Store. So yeah, the Antique Store didn't have much. They had these huge two tubs full of cards everywhere. It was, I don't know, it was a mess. They had these real beat up comics. Not much. But these were cool. They had these pages from like Mickey Mouse uh, comics from the newspaper from like 1939 or something. I'm definitely going to grab them next time. And they had my backpack. Um, but yeah, really cool. And they also had these, these cool things.